everyone, and welcome to Counter Buzz. I'm Greg Rosink, and today I'm here with James Cervantes, product manager for FX Luminaire. Thanks for joining me. No problem. Good morning. James, today we're going to talk about Luxor linking. Yes. But there's probably a lot of people watching right now that don't know what that means. Can you explain Luxor linking to us in a little bit of detail? Yeah, so Luxor linking is it's an efficient, affordable way to expand on a Luxor site that is probably requiring multiple controllers. So basically you have your master unit and you daisy chain to these Luxor satellite units using Cat5 cable. Okay. Now, what exactly is a satellite though? Or a sat, we sometimes so call it. So an, an LSAT is... I, from basic terms, is a Luxor controller without the face pack. So really it's just dummy wattage. And then once you connect the Cat5 cable using the linking ports on both the units, then you're able to send commands down that Cat5 cable to these satellite units. So you turn a 300 watt system into a 600 watt system, but still keep a single face pack for that control. Okay, so when we take this, we're actually adding more units so that we can draw more power, but we don't have a face pack on every single one of those units. Correct, and that, that's really the benefit there is that when you are using Wi-Fi on these Luxor systems, the least amount of points of contact that you need to connect to the Wi-Fi, the better. So a lot of times these transformers are placed in locations that are not ideal for Wi-Fi connection. So if you can just have your master in, the, in a position that is getting good Wi-Fi signal, then you can place those satellites throughout the property to make sure that you're not having voltage drop issues. So there's a lot of benefits to having the, the satellite type linking system. Correct. Okay, so outside of that, how many of these satellites can you add on to the Luxor controller? So really the specs for a linking system are uh, either 3,000 feet for the furthest satellite from the master controller or nine satellites to one master controller. So basically you can get a 10 controller system uh, using uh, Luxor satellites and a Luxor controller. Okay, and all these are being linked together with a Cat5 type cable. Correct. Is that correct? Okay, so do our customers or do our contractors in the field have to be network experts to install one of these systems since you have to use Cat5 cable to link them all together? Definitely not. You can easily go to a big box store and, and get a Cat5, Cat5e, or a Cat6 cable, uh, plug it into the linking ports, and, and you're good to go. You just want to make sure that if you're doing a custom cable, uh, that you are making secure connections with the, the plug as well as the cable together because you will run into maybe some communication issues between the controller uh, and the satellite. One of the things that if I was a contractor, I'd be asking you, how do I install this? Or do I need to use conduit? Can I run it in the same trench as the, the lighting wire? What, give me a little bit of detail on that. Yeah, on it that. is, you know, we definitely recommend uh, direct burial if you are gonna go into conduit. Uh, you can put it into the same conduit as the low voltage wires. Uh, a lot of times, if you do some pre-planning, you can mount all the controllers together and, you know, a short cable from one controller to the next. Uh, depending on if you want the conduit there for a clean install, you can simply just take the cable and go to the next one. So this doesn't have to be spread out all over a property. They can all be in one central location, just adding a little bit more uh, juice to your system so that you can have more fixtures. Correct. Uh, like I said uh, earlier, you want to make sure that you plan it out because if they are next to each other, you want to make sure that you are getting sufficient voltage to those fixtures. Uh, in order to make sure that the system or the lights themselves uh, work properly. Okay, so if you had a little bit larger property, then you needed to go a little bit further distances to those lights. You might want to consider putting the uh, link or the satellite in a different location so that you're starting from that point rather than going all the way from one general point on the property. Correct. And, okay. and like I mentioned, 3,000 feet, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty long that's, distance. That's so a lot of distance. You definitely have some flexibility with the linking system. Okay, so for our viewers, just give us a little bit more, something that they can take away right now that you really recommend with this product. So I really recommend if you are doing a multi-controller site that if you're able to plan it out, definitely look at the LSAT as an option. Uh, not only do you get the flexibility by only having a single point of control, uh, it is also a little bit less expensive than a master controller. So okay. really those are your two benefits. Well, there you have it. We got all the benefits. We got the tools. 
we're, we're here to help you out. All right, James, thanks for stopping by. You gave us a lot of benefits. We always love having you here on the counter buzz, and we look forward to the next time you stop by. And for all of you, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next episode of Counter Buzz.